Website hero sections. They are the first thing that you see when you land on a website. So it's super important to get that right. So in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you 10 unique hero sections that you can pretty much copy and paste and start using into your own designs from today. Okay, I'm not talking this boring common hero section where you have your background image, your text on top and a button underneath. Nope, nor am I talking about having your value proposition on the left hand side, followed by some image over on the right. Okay, no, these are unique. They are different, they're quirky, they're fun, and you can look at these and you can start using them today. As a designer myself, I know exactly what it's like and how easy it can be to fall into a trap of just producing the same very generic designs day in and day out. So if you are looking for something new, fresh, unique, fun, and stick around because there's 10 new designs coming up. Okay, so this first unique hero section design is focusing quite a bit on typography. Okay, we're utilizing large text here. We have what looks like a primary header and then a secondary header that's on the top, okay, followed by an image. Okay, so there's one way that you can utilize that. And if you wanna know what this looks like, we do have examples as well, which we'll be showing you as we go through. Okay, so you can see what the low fidelity design or high fidelity wireframe, whatever you wanna call it, looks like and then how that translates into an actual physical working website. So this would look something like this, which was PandaPay. Okay, we've got high on aim as PandaPay. So very good use of typography. And then we have that large hero image at the bottom. Okay, so this is breaking away from the norm where you have your value proposition on the left hand side and your image on the right. It's just very similar things. We've still got all those components. We're just shifting them around. Okay, so something really quite different here. We've got our value proposition or title up at the top. Our logo is central aligned. Our image is underneath central aligned and our button is central aligned. But over on the right, we've got our secondary text. Okay, now this looks like it shouldn't be there. Okay, but I really feel like it works. Even in wireframe, even in wireframe form, it looks like it works. And then when we take that over to the design, you can see that it works again. Okay, we've got large, bold typography, a small support and image, a button, and then that text over on the right hand side, which looks pretty cool. Okay, this one's slightly different. I, I mean, in wireframe stage, doesn't really look like much and it doesn't really work. Okay, but I wanted to include it because on the flip side, when you see what this looks like in a real website, it actually looks really cool. And in my opinion, works really, really well. So I won't spend too much here. Let's just flip straight over. And this was cool because all of these images, all of the C icons that are 3D renders, okay, they're floating, they're spinning around and they're overlaying the main typography. Okay, so you can see how this works. In this state, doesn't really give much away, but here it looks really bloody cool. Okay, so there's another way that you can implement a unique hero section by having typography quite big, bold down in the corner and then utilizing imagery to overlay, slightly overlay on top of that typography. Next, we've got typography in the middle. Okay, so very conventional. We have our title, our subtext and our button in the middle. Okay, very much central, center aligned. Okay, that's not unique, but what's really cool here is the use of images that are kind of scattered around just to give it almost like an extra depth. And as it, as I said previously, even in kind of like a low fidelity design, it, it looks smart and it works really well. So if we look at what this looks like in a website form, okay, very, very good use of imagery here. And it's an agency style website. So if you're an agency looking at this, you know, absolute inspiration there, especially if you've got a team. So we've got our text, subtext and our button, but we also have what looks like to be the team members floating around, which uh, is pretty pretty unique. They could have you know, made this a bit more rigid in the sense that they could have them have the three over on the right, you know, falling back to that conventional left-hand text image over on the right-hand side, but they haven't done that. Okay, they've broken away from convention and it really works. And also this site was a nominee for awards, okay, which is which is a pretty pretty good testament for how good this, this design is. Now there will be links to all of these designs down in the description if you want to go and check those out. Next, again, something very different, and this will make sense when I show you what the website looks like. Okay, but we've got a lot of rules being broken here. Alright, we've got our text over on the left hand side. Now this kind of breaks away from um, the, the typical grid that you have within a website design. Okay, you tend to have all your content in, in containers that are running down the middle of the page. Okay, but this text here is, is breaking out of that convention and is hugging the edge of the page or the edge, edge of the browser window. 
and then the logo and the button stay within that kind of container. And then we've got stacked imagery in the middle and then we've got some supporting subtext over on the far right. Okay, now again, even in this sort of wireframe form, it, it to me, it, it kind of does work. Maybe that's because I've seen what the actual design looks like, I don't know. Um, I guess the only, if I was to be presented with this, I probably would question the text, but let's have a look at what this design looks like and I can show you why I feel like it works. So here we have it, okay? The text is hugging the left-hand side and experience is in, in two words. Experience is a long, it's a long word, there's a lot of characters in it. So to achieve this design, they've had to break that into two lines. Um, I, I don't know if I like that personally, but I, I can read it. Um, you know, you could have had two words there. If you've got two words or three words, you could you know stack them over onto the left-hand side and that would work. Um, but the logo, the button and everything is, is within that container. And then we've got stacked imagery. I think maybe this works because they're phones and they've got depth to them. And then we've got that support and text over on the right hand side. So again, a very, very unique hero section that you can be implementing into your website design. Next up, we've got your text over on the right. Okay, this, this page is split down the middle. The text is over on the right. You have subtext down at the bottom and then you have what appears to be a slightly contrasting background color and then an image within that as well. Okay, so uh, a bit of depth and I can show you what this looks like shortly. Um, but overall, very, very simple. And of course, you'd imagine that your navigation is up there somewhere. Um, but in none of these sort of wireframe views have I included the navigation because the, the focus is on the hero section. That's the purpose of this video is to give you inspiration and ideas for producing unique hero sections. So translating this into an actual design, okay, it looks like this. Okay, so flipping back, we've got one color, we've got another color for that, for that right hand section that creates a divide. And so you can see that here. Now, in terms of branding, you know, they're using this brand burnt orange, which works well. Okay, you know, I think you could also use two contrasting colors. Like if you wanted to use a red and a white, but you know, keep that black text, again, that, that would work. But this looks really smart. You know, this text and this text is, I've just noticed is, is kind of not aligned or not left aligned. So that's, that's really interesting, but still works. The image here is really smart and everything is, it's kind of very quite minimal. All right, so now I've not seen a hero section like this before, which is why I have included it. And yeah, I think I think this just works really, really well. Uh, next up, we've got mainly just text here. Okay, now this is breaking all conventions, in my opinion. Okay, we've got um, four, four lines of large text supported by images. Okay, now this doesn't look like much, but when I flip this over to the design, as you can see here, we've got large text, we've got a change in fonts and typography, and then we've got the images that support this design. Okay, so it looks really quirky, looks really cool. Everything else is really minimal. You've got your logo, you've got your nav over on the top right. Uh, so yeah, in my opinion, I think this works. And if you were to start scrolling down, you know, maybe this text moves, maybe there's some sort of parallax that, that happens when you when you start scrolling down. But again, this won an award or it had an honorary mention on awards. Um, so yeah, really, really cool site, really. I like it, it's smart, it's minimal. And I'd say relatively easy to achieve with, you know, the likes of Elemental and Webflow or whatever web builder that you are using. Next up, we've got our main hero text at the top supported by multiple images underneath. And you can see that this is spanning the entire width of the page and is also hugging the bottom. So where that fold is or below the fold, it kind of sits on that line. And so again, very minimal, and there would be opportunity, I guess, for you to add buttons in here if you wish. Um, but I you know, wanna take this and show you what it looks like in a real working site, which is here. Okay, this is AbleSense, and they've got their three lines of text, and then they've got what looks like their portfolio underneath. And I believe this floats on a kind of a revolving carousel which uh, yeah, again, very minimal, very nice, and a very good use of our hero section that is breaking away from that common convention and you know, the the, ugh, the boring ways to, to design a website. Well, next up, we've got a large image in the middle that spans from the top of the page, but doesn't quite make it to the bottom. And this is kind of center aligned. And then your title text is over on the left here. So if I just move that out of the way. So over on the left, Okay, it's not super large, it's, it's quite small, so you can have multiple lines in there. You could even add a button in here if you wanted to. You can have um, a, a subline or a piece of subtext. 
could even add some like support and text over here. I reckon that would work too. The way that this looks in design form is something like this. So we've got our image, we've got our logo here, and we've got some text. Okay, there's a lot of other stuff going on here, like our, our navigation is split into the two sides. We've got some revolving text over on the far left. So there's lots of things happening in this, what appears to be a very minimal hero section. Okay, so it looks really, really smart. Again, simple, minimal, quirky, fun. And you can you know pretty much start playing with this in your own designs as of today. Next, we've got large text supported by multiple imagery. Okay, and these images are, as you can see, are behind the text. The, the primary focus is still on this title. Okay, what the value proposition is or what your website is about. Okay, that's still the focus. And then the images will just act uh, as, as a support and a supporting mechanism to your statement. Text, primary, images, secondary. And then let's not forget that you have your call to action underneath. Let's see what this looks like in website form. So you can see here, this was on a wedding website, which is pretty cool. So very nice use of typography, very large. We've also got some additional aesthetic effects here with the circle, you know, this circle meets the button. But more importantly, the images in the background are cool. You can see that they are layered, there's depth to them. And yeah, this just looks really nice. I, I love it because it, you know, a very, very good use of colors. I think the peach with the orange is kind of very autumnal. Um, yeah, I, I like that. And yeah, very nice photography too. So you can see how this would work. And if you're in a position where you're looking to design something sim similar or you know, a wedding website or anything that requires the use of photography, I think you could look to adopt a very similar similar approach with layering up your images and then making a focus on the text at the forefront. Next up, we've got, again, something very different. Now, again, the focus is very much on the title. Okay, that is where your attention is drawn as soon as you land on this. Again, we're breaking convention here. We've got like subtext that's pushed over to the left, which, you know, kind of feels like it should be broken, right? It looks like it doesn't belong there. But when I flip this over to the website, you can see how this works. Now I'm seeing a lot more unique hero sections. Um, I think people are being bold, being brave, breaking away from convention. And that's what this whole video is about, is to show you multiple ways of designing a hero section and allow, allowing you to ultimately have fun with your website designs again. So we've got our value proposition, our main title, tool, we've got supporting text pushed over to the left. The logo is still bound within that typical column that you have within a website. Got a image in the background here, faintly, and then we've got our image peeking at the bottom here, which is just below the fold, which would in essence encourage the user to scroll down, I would imagine. So this is how this looks like. Um, and now this is a Webflow event site, which is why it caught my attention. Now Webflow create uh, amazing designs, or, or at least designers create amazing designs using Webflow, um, which is why I included this, because to, to be on Webflow's caliber um, and to have this as a functional site must be fine. Um, but it does work because you know we've got this city landscape here in the background. The text is just above the the skyline here and then we've got small text over on the left hand side and then we've got our image down at the bottom which will encourage you to scroll so again this works really really well so there you have it there are over 10 unique hero section designs that you can take and start implementing into your business from today. If you're a designer and you're looking to shake things up, you have a collection of fun, interesting, unique hero sections. So there's no reason why you need to be producing boring designs from now. And let me know down in the comments, guys, which of the 10 that you preferred. I certainly have my favorites. And also, if you did find this valuable, please do give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button too if you haven't done so already and hit the bell notification if you wanna be alerted of more future videos like this. There's an end screen coming up any minute now now for you to go check out other additional videos on this channel. I know, again, you will find this really useful. Now have a great day and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.